Hello viewers, Microsoft has released the final patch Tuesday security update for Windows 10 as the system has officially reached the end of support on October 14. It's a bit strange to think we are now talking about the last ever Windows 10 update. Personally, I believe Microsoft might still release occasional quality or security pages for unsupported users who are not part of the ESU program. Anyway, let's get back to the update. This one is a um, mandatory update. If you open your update history, you will see the final Windows 10 update KB5066791. Since it's a compulsory when you check your Windows version when you will notice the final build for Windows 10 h 2 is OS build 19045.6456. Now as usual page Tuesday update focus on security this month update packs 97 vulnerabilities which is a quite a lot microsoft clearly tried to pitch everything possible since this is the final update among those two are critical issues involving hep buffer over overflow and elevation of privilege vulnerabilities this update also includes improvement from the previous optional update kb5066198 release at the end of september the last C release for Windows 10 that update mainly brought small general fixes and performance improvements. Apart from that, Microsoft also fixed a few more bugs in this update. For example, they resolved a problem with the Chinese input method editor IME, where private Unicode characters were not displayed correctly according to the GB18030 standard. They also fixed issue affecting user 32 edit control and a timeout problem in Windows remote management that occurred after 600 seconds. Additionally, Microsoft added a new feature through its more useful for enterprise environments. It's an update servicing stuck with improved certificate change for better Azure environment validation. Lastly, this update removed the LTMDM64.IS driver, meaning PAX modem hardware relying on that driver will no longer work on windows so overall microsoft seemed to have warped up all the remaining fixes in this final update even through its called the last update i still think user might see a few small update occasionally even on unsupported system and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching